they canceled the biathlon. Among all the other worries and stresses and impact that the COVID-19 virus is having, the biathlon seems like the smallest of concessions. And I understand that. I checked my own privilege at the door, but I'm still sad. I'm still upset. Um, it was something I was really excited to do. It's, I have this road trip planned and my mom was coming. It, it was something that I was so excited to share with you all, but I understand and I respect why they canceled it. We're eight weeks out. Most of us got to get some travel costs back which in these times, money in the bank is well, very much appreciated. And it's the right thing for the communities uh, that surround Anniston, Alabama. It's right for the nation as a whole. It's right to try to squash this. And like, God forbid we're still in this quarantine by, you know, May 18, but if we are, they did the right thing. And I respect that, but I'm still sad. I'm, I'm sad. So our options were to postpone for three months, which they did. I cannot attend that event. So I'm deferring to next year and we will see what happens. If I'm able to go, it's a big deal for me to go. It's a 30 hour road trip and days off of work. So we'll see if we do it next year. I'm not really focused on next year right this second. Um, but I wanted to share this with you because it did affect me and I am sad. Um, it seems like a lot of things are being taken away from everybody right now, and this is just a little tiny thing. But in the midst of this, you have to keep living, you have to keep fighting for goals and working towards something, or you're going to go crazy. And uh, I lived through 2008, and I know that. Like, you can't just give up. You got to just keep moving forward, respecting the rules, respecting the boundaries that are around you. But keep moving forward. So I wanted to share with you what I'm doing next. So first things first, I am so thankful for what the biathlon did for me. Uh, without even running it, I was able to find the side of me that I thought I lost. Um, all the years of being sick, I, I couldn't get this confident, fit self. I, I lost all confidence in myself. And because of training for biathlon and biathlon, and making myself be consistent. And it took a long time. I mean, this YouTube channel helped people. Um, but I slowly found that. And somewhere in January-ish, everything kind of clicked. And I have that side of me back. Um, I'm so passionate about fitness. I'm so passionate about my road that I'm on. And I'm thinking of opening up different opportunities with strength and conditioning, coaching, and all of these things that I'm learning and diving into and including him. I think that was some of the biggest changes for me was getting to include him and being the partner. And it's just, it's been an amazing, hard, challenging, up and down 17, 18 weeks, but I'm thankful for them. And this training vlog isn't changing. It's just going to shift. Um, right now, um, I don't have anything set for May because uh, COVID, um, everything's up in the air. So if all of this calms down, Feeney and I will hike Humphreys in May, which is the tallest peak in Arizona, which we have not been able to conquer. So we will attack that in place of the biathlon. Um, if it's not calmed down, we will defer to some stuff in the fall. Um, we've got Ice Lakes in September that we're training for, my first Trail 10K in November that we will train for, and I'm on the hunt for something to do with him. So if you know of cool doggy obstacle races um, that are out my way, shoot me a comment, a message. I'd love to know. I'm still on the hunt for what him and I will do. We've got a lot of peaks coming, so our training isn't going to stop. It isn't going to change. The conditioning... Um, is just such a integral new component that I've needed. And uh, you know, maybe we might throw a 14er on. Sky's the limit with where our training can take us. And uh, 
I'm gonna just let things ease for a little bit and not make any plans through, you know, May-ish. But after that, I've got some plans. We've got ice lakes, we've got big hikes, and maybe we'll, maybe, maybe just maybe we'll conquer the tallest peak in Arizona. So we'll see how things play out with COVID and we'll see what happens. Um, but the training vlog will continue. Um, we're going to share some more at home dog friendly workouts because that is what's needed in the world right now. And it's something that's really fun for me to program. So we're going to start sharing some of those. We're just going to keep training, keep reaching for our goals. And as soon as we can start traveling again, you guys are going to get all sorts of travel videos and camping vlogs and how to's. But, uh, for now we are sticking close to home. We are training every day. We are being grateful for where we are. And uh, we will see if I tackle the biathlon, biathlon, I can't say that word, in 2021, or if that ends up being a closed chapter. But um, until then, 